Today we're making this colorful spring and Easter arrangement. Keep watching. So here's some plies we're going to need. Just one of these little round signs. You can get one at the Dollar Tree if they still have them available. That one's actually thrifted. This is a canister that I got from Target on clearance a few years ago. I got some thrifted eggs and a thrifted wooden carrot. This pick was also thrifted. I just very recently picked this up. Lots of pretty colors there. So if you're not into pastels, this is gonna be the perfect one for you. This is a recycled foam block. And we're gonna start by just taking the lid off this canister. We will not need it for this project. So if you get a thrifted canister with no lid, that is perfectly fine, you won't need it. You could use a crock for this too, I think would be pretty. I'm gonna use my metal ruler from Dollar Tree and just cut a section of this off. Cut it in pieces, however you can get it to fit inside of your container. So I'm gonna cut a few more slices just to make sure that I have plenty of area to put my floral picks when I get ready to do the arranging. So I'm just slicing it up a little bit. Now we've got good area to work with. Nice snug fit so nothing is going to flop around when we start putting it together. All right, so I'm gonna start with this pick. And there was no, uh, like a tag or anything on here. So I'm not really sure where it came from. I feel like it came from a craft store rather than Dollar Tree because it is so full. Um, yeah, but you can get a couple of picks maybe from Dollar Tree that you like and use those. They have a nice variety of um, spring picks and flowers. Just get the colors that speak to you that you really like when you see them. If you find yourself smiling, those are the ones you want to get. I'm clipping these off and I'm trying to be sure that I cut my stems at a variety of heights just in case I want some to be taller than others. Though it really won't matter too much once you push them into this foam because of the depth of the canister. Okay, so I'm going to cut off a piece, uh, a couple of pieces of these stems too because I want to use these to hold my eggs. So I'm going to repurpose these wire stems for that. And there were a couple of flowers that had already been used by the previous owner of this bunch of flowers. So I'm just going to move some foliage around too and um, so that each stem will have some foliage. Now, in order to get this to fit in the bottom of these little eggs, I'm going to use my glue gun and carefully just run that right in there. The heat from the glue gun is going to melt that and open us a little spot so that we can get through that uh, plastic. These are coated in plastic and uh, have access to the foam center. We put the stick inside of there. If you needed to, you could just glue something in, uh, depending on what kind of picks you use. If you use the eggs, like the little plastic eggs that you put treats in, Easter treats in, then you could probably just use hot glue or maybe you could poke a hole in the end of those too and a little hot glue to hold them in place. I wanted to be sure that my picks all had a little greenery on them too so that they blended in well and made the arrangement a little bit fuller. So I've just picked three eggs of the colors that coordinate and I'm just going to get those together and then um, see I'm going to slide that one off and put it on this one. I want a nice full arrangement. I don't want to be able to see down around any of my flowers. So I've changed my camera angle here for you a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to start in the middle with one of the orange flowers and then kind of work in a triangle pattern here. You can bend those stems, they're wire, so bend them a little bit so that the head of the flower, you know, can go in different directions if you'd like. Make them look a little more natural. Not all flowers grow straight up. They're seeking the sun, so they will bend in order to get to the light that they need. 
little biology lesson there for you. Then I'm just adding the blue around and then some of the little picks were kind of little flyaway picks. I want those to be higher than the rest of them. They really stick out of there, make it look interesting. And here are the little egg picks. I'm just gonna place these in at different spots and at different heights. There's a little empty spot right there that needed a little something. And remember what I always say, turn that arrangement all around, look at it from all angles. Get above it and look down on it too to make sure you don't have any holes in there. Okay, so we're gonna need something to hold these sign, the sign and the carrot up. And we're just going to use some dowel rods to get those things in shape. So I removed my hanger. And I'm looking to see how long I'll need this to be to get that sign above my arrangement where I want it to be. It's a little bit heavy, but it shouldn't push all the way through that floral foam. So I want to put it about that height. And I'm going to use a little bit of this black ribbon since it's going to be above the arrangement so that you don't see that wooden stick when you turn your arrangement or see it from the other side. This way, if you put it in the center of your table, you still have something, you know, a little bit nicer to look at. I couldn't get the tag off. You would want to remove your tag. I'm just going to go back over that with the black marker and color it in so that you can't see that white under there. So I'm putting a good amount of blue here so that I can press the stick into it and it will get all around on that stick. I'm going to go back and forth in a little zigzag across there to make a little bridge over it so it doesn't break off. And then I'm going to cover this up with just some uh, pieces of ribbon that I already had, like scraps. And it's black, so it works. But, you, you know, normally I would probably just use some paper or something on the back, but not if it's going to be seen. You want it to look a little more neat. So there's some glue that's kind of pushing out of there, and all you have to do is take your silicone fingertips and your fingers and just kind of work at it, and it will it'll rub right off the back. It'll be a little bit more difficult once the glue is dried, but um, it, it can still be removed, depending on the um, if you have a painted surface or a plastic surface or what you're working with. Okay, so I know I want this to go in the top of the arrangement, maybe a little off center. Look how well that matches. That looks so cute in there. Just bend in that pick that that egg is on. Looks pretty good, right? Hey, so looking at it from all the edges. I've decided that I want to add a bow around here. So I'm just taking some of this, I think it's like a burlap tubing, like a, a mesh tubing that you can get at Dollar Tree. I can't remember what it's called and it was off of the spool. So I can't give you an exact name, but it's open in the middle like a straw. It makes a nice little bow. So I just put a simple shoelace bow there and I'm going to trim it up. If your bow tries to twist, all you have to do is take a little dot of hot glue and arrange it on there. So then I was trying to decide where I wanted to put the carrot. And I've decided that I want to put it in the side. So I'm going to break off one of my dowel rods to make it a little shorter. I've already chosen the best side of my carrot to be on the outside. And I'm going to add some glue here. Now if I had orange ribbon, I could cover that up. But once it is dried, I can just, and you see I put the little zigzag on there too. Once it is dried, I can just easily poke that down into the arrangement. And because of where I'm putting it, you won't be able to see the back of the carrot. Just adding that in. Trying to find some kind of balance um, when I add it in so it doesn't look just like it's randomly hanging out on the side. You can take some moss and go around the edge of your container if you would like so that you won't see anything. But I've decided that 
instead of doing that, I'm going to add a little bit of this eucalyptus pick that I had left over. I've already been working on this piece uh, in other projects. So I have plenty left and I have another complete pick to use for later. So just pick the pieces that you like. I'm trying to pick the ones that have more of metal on the stem than just a plastic piece because if you get a plastic piece, you're going to have to find something firm like another dowel rod or pick to wrap it around to get it to stick into your foam. So if it has a metal piece on the pick, it will easily puncture the foam and stand up where it needs to be. So that's all I'm doing here. I'm just showing you that because some parts of the pick are going to be more of a, you know, kind of a flimsy plastic. They're not gonna stick in there for you and they're gonna just kind of, you won't have as much control over it. So I've picked off the bottom layers and I'm just going to add these pieces in where I feel like um, it would be in a good place. So around the bottom where there's an opening and then some picking out of the top. You see, I'm looking all the way around as I go for spots that look like they can need it, um, that they could use a little extra something. And you can see, I don't want, I'm looking for those dark areas that need something. And when you put the greenery in there, it's gonna brighten that up and bring your eye back to the outside of the arrangement where all the exciting stuff is happening. That's what we want. Just continue to do this wherever you need to do this. And here is my final result. I'm generally a more neutral kind of person, a more pastel kind of um, decor, but this, this is so festive and bright and it just makes me so happy to look at it. It's cute. I can put it on my table, I can put it in my craft area, and here's another side of it so you can see there it's nice and full. Where would you put a piece like this? Would you even do something that is brightly colored like this? Are you somebody who likes more of a neutral or pastel, maybe farmhouse theme? I think the wildflowers and the variety make it a little on the rustic side, but still so bright and happy brings me joy when I look at it. And isn't that the point of crafting? Yes. Thank you so much for stopping by and for watching my videos. I hope you subscribe and become part of our family. I'll see you again soon. Bye.